Hello fellas, time for another update on electric truck. So this here was just me maybe looking for a little spring for the brake pedal that I may have misplaced. And after I removed everything out of the bed of the truck, literally the last thing in there was the freaking little brake pedal spring. So that's taken care of, but that's not the big update. The big update deals with our brake system nearly being complete and ready for some testing. My grandma used to say, whenever you see fluids going in, that's a good sign for any build. So here we have our little, what is that called, an IV setup? using an old tripod, hence the shaky cam, because I'm not going to use my uh, brake pedal bleeding stand for a camera. I'm not a fool. So got this clear line on here going to the Tesla, Honda, whatever electric brake booster. And I discovered that this little cylinder or Reservoir actually takes another one a remote one that lives a little bit higher in the truck So I ordered one like a fool. I think I just paid 60 bucks for a stupid plastic canister And I'm not even sure where I'm gonna mount it because this is already pretty high in this truck so I might have to cut a hole in the hood and you know make some sort of a bracket and mount it above the hood like turbo style or, or blower style but we got this clear tube on here, and uh, I'm feeding some fluid in there. That way I can see it run down, sort of maybe gravity fed. And this is a dot three, so you know we can start arguing about that. These newer brake systems, I take, I think, take dot four. But then what do you do? You got a 50 year old truck that grew up on dot three, and then you've got this new master cylinder that takes dot four, I guess. So what do we do? Do we do a blend? Now, as far as my understanding, uh, the dot three actually has a better tolerance for moisture and air bubbleness. So I don't quite know what the difference is between dot three and dot four. And hell, maybe by the time uh, you watch this video, there's going to be a dot five, if not already. But anyway, um, I'm going to take a little break here uh, because I cannot find the pigtail that plugs in here. And that will allow us to hook this thing up to a car battery that's right a regular 12 volt car battery and populate it a little bit and see if it's any easier than manual and also see if we can get these brakes bled but i'm pretty excited this took a while um, just because i had to make my own brake lines and as you can see here uh, not the prettiest thing. They're going to be touched up a little bit in terms of bendiness. But uh, they should be pretty solid so far and not leak. And as I say that, looky there. So much for not leaking. I mean, seriously. What is this? Mm, tastes like brake fluid. I'm guessing this is a leak. We'll be back.